Hi, Stephen from Owner Disown. Just a quick video showing how to uh, undervolt your uh, graphics card in your notebook. I'm using my uh, Sager NP9873 and uh, there's actually um, one of my subscribers, Claudie, suggested that uh, I do this video. And uh, most of the time, your yeah, graphics card is actually running quite, uh, quite cool. Um, but in the instance of this one, it was uh, getting up to about 90 odd degrees. And uh, I thought, well, you know what, if you perhaps don't want to mess around uh, repasting or anything like that, an undervolt, as shown in the uh, various CPU uh, tests I've done, can work out. So I, I've tested on a number of different games here. So let's take a look at the results. So start off by downloading MSI Afterburner, the latest version, and I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, pressing Control F brings up the uh, voltage frequency curve editor, as you can see here on the left. And on the left hand side of the chart, you have the frequency in megahertz. And at the bottom, you have the, the voltage in uh, millivolts. And you can see uh, the corresponding uh, frequencies corresponding to the, uh, the, the voltage um, that is applied to, to the card as it, as it boosts up its uh, clock rate. And uh, you can uh, manually alter each point uh, moving it uh, up or down um, like that and then uh, pressing uh, the check mark will then uh, make the corresponding uh, values uh, uh, equal to it. Now you can move the graph up and down by pressing uh, the shift key and using the, the mouse to move it up and down or the uh, control key to uh, alter it on a, on a hinge like that. You then uh, can save the profile and uh, you got it uh, Good to go. So I switched to the overclock fan profile. As you can see here, the temperatures are slightly less. The uh, reason, reason why I did that was on the uh, automatic fan profile on this uh, Sage uh, NP9873. It only resulted in a one degree difference uh, in uh, when I undervolted the GPU. So I've got the overclock fan going here. And as you can see on the graph, it uh, at around about 1050 millivolts, it uh, runs at about 1900 uh, uh, megahertz. So uh, my objective uh, when doing the undervolt is to uh, obviously, of course have the, as low a possible uh, voltage um, for as high a possible frequency. So let's take a look at my settings there. Looking at my undervolt chart you can see that uh, 875 millivolts I've got that set at the uh, 1900 uh, megahertz frequency and uh, looking at the temperature above it's around about 76 degrees Celsius. So have a look at the two charts side by side. On the left hand side, we have the stock voltage curve and on the right, the uh, undervolt voltage curve. And uh, as you can see, I'm getting a good uh, six degrees Celsius uh, cooler on the undervolt. Can't complain at that. Looking at Rise of the Tomb Raider, we have the uh, undervolt uh, curve on the right hand side and the stock voltage curve on the left hand side. Um, Difference is about seven degrees, six to seven degrees Celsius cooler using the undervolt and the frames per second are about the same. Turning to Grand Theft Auto 5 with the stock voltage curve on the left hand side and the undervolt voltage curve on the right hand side, we are getting a good seven to eight degrees Celsius cooler with the undervolt. So that is pretty smart. And also if you look at the, uh, the clock rates, about 1900, 1100 megahertz on the uh, undervolt I achieved there and about 1873 megahertz stock. So um, I was actually able to get a bit of an overclock there as you can see by the uh, better FPS. Finally, we have Doom. And uh, here the undervolt is showing about 77 degrees Celsius and the uh, stock at about 82 degrees Celsius. So that's a five degree cooler. Yeah, using the undervolt, so that is good indeed. And also looking at the uh, the clock frequency, about 1898 megahertz on the undervolt and 1835 on the stock. So an all out win. So generally, it looks like uh, undervolting the GPU reduces it by about uh, five to uh, seven degrees. Uh, so I think uh, that's pretty good. And it's very easy to do, quick and easy, and it's worth a shot. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.